very much. And now, I understand why we're in here and not in my office. <laughs> in my office. Well, I know we have a little signing to do here and then a photo, but... And I also know that you have survived serious accidents and you know the benefits of a, of a, a safety belt use. And I'm sure as law enforcement officers that you're doubly aware of the benefits and the blessings. The accident toll on our highways is so great, I think maybe I'd better sign this paper right away. If this helps encourage safety belt use, why reduces the fatalities and serious injuries, why well, I'm all for it. Now, Jim, I hear all these fine men and women have survived auto accidents because of safety belts. And uh, so you're all living testimony to the value of buckling up. And if you can get your message out to every American, most especially people who drive with children in the car, our time will be well spent. I know you're doing everything you can, and so am I. Last year, we issued an executive order concerning self -debate, uh, safety belt use for all our federal employees. And uh, now that's... I think that I better get to work and write. The proclamation is signed and sponsored this group here today, I want to present you with a watch. And uh, this is a watch that has a very special meaning. And if you can see right there, it says save with a belt, and it's got a safety hey. belt right across the face of it, so that any time you look at the time, you'll know it's time to buckle up. Thank you very much. I'm most grateful. Thank you for your support. experience of these years and eight years as governor. I'm not sure when I'm ever going to get out of the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> when we got when, when we left the governor's office and went back to Los Angeles, got invited out to dinner one night, a few days after we'd gotten back. We both got in the back seat and waited for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody in the clear? You can see him. You can see him. <laughs> you can see me. We're all set. Steve, just a little back. There we go. Okay, everyone, right here. Don't be afraid to smile. <laughs> One more here. Everybody's looking up here. Great, thank you, sir. All right. Thank See, you, I, Mr. President. I can't miss this opportunity, so I've got a new hobby. I'm collecting actually stories that I can actually prove are told by the citizens of the Soviet Union to each other about their system. And you know they got a great sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> They're also kind of cynical, too. <laughs> one, of the, one of the last stories, this is exactly the place to tell it. One of the latest that I have found is a story where they issued an order in the Soviet Union that no matter who they were or how important, the motorcycle police were to give them a ticket if they were speeding. They were going to do something about speeding. So Gorbachev woke up one morning shortly after the order was issued. He was out at that country place of his, late for getting to the Kremlin, told his chauffeur to get in the back seat and he'd drive. And he got in the front seat and down the road he went and passed two motorcycle policemen. And one of them took out after him. A few minutes, he came back to his partner. His partner said, well, did you give him a ticket? And he said, no. Well, he said, you got our orders. We're supposed to give him a ticket no matter what. He said, no, this was too important. I couldn't. Well, he said, who was it? He said, I don't know. I, I couldn't recognize him there in the back seat, but his driver is Gorbachev. <laughs>
privilege of introducing Commander Stock of the VFW. Mr. President, it's my pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, sir, this is Mr. Cooper Holt. Thank you again, again, Mr. President. Yeah, it's good to see you again. This is our uh, program for this year, for America, whatever it takes. Well. And uh, many of the resolutions that was passed by the Veterans of Foreign War, the uh, resolutions that I think you appreciate, the Persian Gulf and uh, Central America. I'm planning a trip to Central America in September with a couple of my That's people. And I uh, would also like you to have across them all pen set. Well, so the thank room. you very much. And this, my, Mr. President, is an invitation to be my keynote speaker at a Washington conference in March. Well, thank you very much. I hope that the schedule is such that I can accept. Well, we certainly and wish you well. Congratulations. Sir. Being where you are, and I must say that I am always deeply grateful because your organization has supported us so wholeheartedly. Well, 2.2 million veterans that have been in conflict with this have seen a lot of action. So, uh, we're very concerned with our country and the welfare of our country, and certainly uh, we're looking to uh, some of the programs, our entitlements that kind of been uh, part of the base contract, I like to call it, that we feel they've earned. <laughs> yep. Yes. So we do have some concerns from time to time, but we do respect the position you're in trying to balance the budget, too, sir. Well, thank you very much. You keep up your fight. You're a fighter, and we love you. <laughs> this is really we're supporting you. I think I want to do a group. Mr. Mr. President, one quick, quick oh, may I point out, please, that uh, Commander Stock was at the 11th Airborne Division. <laughs> we had five campaigns in the Pacific, and uh, uh, the Cooper Holt was also in the infantry, and he had the uh, uh, is fighting in the Solomon Islands, and uh, both of them are, have been long-term VFW leaders, and uh, we're great. To, it's great to work with them. Well, and I'm grateful for all they do for us. They just do souvenirs of the office there. Right. Thank, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. for That's very, very nice. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. They <laughs> still want to get one last part, Mr. President. But they want to just get just one, 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 one oh, 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 All right. It's great. Looking here, sir. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Great. Good. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, good health. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Good luck. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Are you back? Well, hello there. I'm so happy to see you. Nice to see yeah. you. Yes. Hello there. there. How are you? Just fine. Oh. Just fine. Paul, are you back? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hello. 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 Big smile. One more. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this visit brings back a lot of memory. I should say it does. That's what I said. It's quite an honor Good getting to come here. Days at Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your letting us come. Well, this is most happy. And my husband would have been so proud of you. Well, he always was before. Well, I think you came from Eureka College. Yes, we all, oh, that's nice. we all had a fraternal bond also. I know you did, that's right. We always came back every time we came back to Eureka. See ya. Yes, and when I think back in those days, if I had to do over again, I'd follow the same path and go to the same school. <laughs> that's quite an honor. It's a bond that seems to cling. I have a few souvenirs here. Oops, ladies and pins. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, nice. So cool. The three young ladies, charm, which is the seal, the presidential seal. And the two young men, tie bars. Oh, thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you. He's going to put your picture on you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a senior. In high school. In high school. Yeah. And he's going to put his picture with you in the yearbook. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, uh, and where is the high school? Where now? 
Uh, the car, the car a long way from Manuk. <laughs> <laughs> Manuk I couldn't glad, take the cold guess, weather well. anymore. I talked Sherry into moving to Florida. <laughs> I got to get them some history since they're here. Sure. History. Since all those things are the seal, mm -hmm. and there's the seal up there, and you can see that the eagle, his head is turned to the claw with the olive branch for peace. And the other claw, he has the arrows for war. But there's a little history with this. On that old desk, which goes way back to the days of Queen Victoria in England, is the seal as it was then. And the eagle's head was turned toward the arrows. And after World War II, President Truman decided to change the seal and have him look toward peace on the other branch. That desk was once a sailing ship in the British Navy. And it would go caught in the ice on a rescue mission toward the North Pole. It had to be abandoned. Some years later, an American whaling captain came upon it and brought it out. And our country refurbished it and sent it back to England. And then a few years later, evidently, they decommissioned it. And a 1,300-pound package arrived at the White House <laughs> in Queen Victoria. And this desk was covered out of the planks of that ship when they decommissioned it. So she sent it back here as a gift of appreciation. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. The whole office is really. Well, the people weren't as tall in those days as we are. So I found out that I had to have that bottom little layer around there. Oh, I had no. it because every time I tried to get my knees under the desk, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, Has Elmer Fisher been here to see? What's that? Elmer Fisher. Oh, I remember him very well. Yeah, I wondered if he'd been here because the gentleman said you'd had a lot of Oh, yes, but uh, uh, we had a, in fact, we had a fundraiser back here. But that was mainly the current studios, and there were not too many. Oh, not I too see. many of my era. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look really good. <laughs> yeah, I should say. Well done. Well done. So, as I have to tell you, my college days were very happy. I had to work my way through school. So did my husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a, I had one of the better jobs in my life. I washed dishes in the girls' dormitory. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> my husband spoke the furthest I think. Yes. Oh, gosh. Well, but that man out of it. Oh, where? Maine's University of Florida. Where? University of Florida. Oh. Well, it's nice. So Please nice to you. I do. Doing a great job, too, out oh, there. Thank you. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Eight years. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.